I thought I'd do a video on this particular topic as it has come to my attention through Twitter that the voice actress Jenny Slate has unfortunately stepped down from her role in Big Mouth as the character Missy, saying that black characters should be played by black people even though the article reads that Missy is biracial. According to Variety, she says that Jenny thought she was engaging in an act of erasure of black people, and ending her portrayal of Missy is one step in a lifelong process of uncovering the racism in her actions. And it got me thinking, should race matter when it comes to voice actors? Well, yes and no. Personally, I didn't really care that Missy from Big Mouth was a biracial character, and it wasn't really a big part of her personality. Her character was that she was an awkward nerd. It seems strange that Jenny feels like she can't play a biracial character, even though her character has none of the stereotypes that are associated with that, so it's not like it's deliberately offensive. When there is a man in the show voicing a girl character, then people absolutely love her, and she's a mock-up of stereotypical mean girls. It's... The whole show is basically a comedy, and a raunchy comedy as well. And it's not just that, Cleveland Brown from Family Guy, and The Cleveland Show, I think Seth MacFarlane wants to forget that existed, don't blame him, is voiced by Mike Henry, a white guy. And I think they deliberately chose him because his character is supposed to be a mock of black stereotypes. And the fact that a white guy voices him is just the cherry on top of the Sunday of dark humour. It's meant to offend you and make you laugh. It's not meant to be taken seriously. In that regard, sometimes race of a voice actor doesn't matter. And it's not just in comedy. Bill Lamar, a black man, voices Samurai Jack, an Asian man. But no one thinks that's racist. We remember him fondly because he voices such a badass character. And his voice sounds so stern and cool when we Phil voices him. Who else wants them? Now, do I understand what Jenny has done? Yes, and I do respect her a lot for wanting to give her role to someone who is actually of colour, giving them a platform to have their voice heard. One of the reasons the Disney film Coco was so beloved was that for the film they hired an all-Hispanic cast to voice all the characters to make it more authentic. There was only one famous person I've heard of um, that was in the cast before I saw the film. All the rest seemed like breakout stars to me, and I appreciate that Disney wanted to give aspiring actors that are actually Hispanic a chance to shine and be heard instead of giving it to already famous Hollywood A-listers. I think more Hollywood studios should do that to make films more authentic. Don't just cast someone because their skin color matches the character they want them to play, and their reputation in Hollywood makes that movie profitable. Hire someone who is actually of that culture to represent someone of that culture and people will respect your movie a whole lot more. And also, certain characters would not seem right if they were voiced by someone of a different race. For example, Static from Static Shock, whose character is supposed to represent the struggles of African Americans living in America, with episodes covering social issues like racism, with Richie Stad being racist to Virgil, which leads to Richie calling him out. It would be incredibly distasteful if someone who represents that culture isn't voiced by someone of that culture himself. I think they did a good job um, by hiring Phil Lamar to voice him. So in some respects, no. Race doesn't matter when it comes to voice acting, as voice acting allows people to transform their voice and become anyone they want to be. But in other regards, yes, the race of a voice actor does help when it comes to them voicing a character that represents a certain culture. I hope what I've said makes sense, and thanks for watching everyone.